Hello Classic Crew and welcome to a new series on my channel called Classically Abby Reacts. On today's episode of Classically Abby Reacts, I'm going to be answering a question that I saw posed on the Reddit thread relationship advice. Is it called a thread? Is it called a forum? I don't really use Reddit generally. This is me trying something new, something different, and I'm excited to see what you guys think of it. But I wanted to answer a question that I saw posed on Reddit. My plan for the series is to answer questions or to react to crazy things that people post or to debunk crazy things that people post all of the above. So I'm excited to get into it today, but if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe now and hit that notification bell. And if you haven't already subscribed to my Substack newsletter where you'll get access to a ton of exclusive content, make sure to head over to classicallyabby.substack.com. Now let's get into today's video. Okay. So here is the thread. My husband wants to have kids, but I don't. What do I do? My husband wants to have kids, but I don't. I'm 21 and I'm a type one diabetic. I have bipolar one and cancer runs in my family on both sides. I don't want to pass my genes on. I think overall I would be a good mom, but I also don't think I could handle the responsibilities of being a mom. I can barely take care of myself half the time. My husband, 22, is very family oriented and really wants kids. He's never given me a good reason for wanting kids besides passing his name down. I love him so much and I can't imagine my life without him. I just told him today that I don't want to have kids. He said he needed to process it. I'm having a hard time leaving him alone. I'm so scared to lose him. Besides the kid thing, we're a great match. And I just love him so much, I can't bear the idea of losing him. So the first thing to address is that clearly this girl has um, some really serious issues. So it makes sense that she is afraid of having children, right? She has diabetes, she has bipolar disorder. Uh, she said that cancer runs in her family. So the cancer running in the family thing is a little less, it's a little less important. Uh, but I think the big thing here that we all need to question is how did you get married and never discuss this? Tell me how! Now, number one, let's get out of the way. I believe that having children is the best and most important way to find fulfillment, find meaning, have purpose. I think everyone should have children, okay? This is what I think. I also think it's correct, but that's what I think. Well, that it is. So getting that out of the way, if you're going to marry someone, there are a few basic things you need to be on the same page about. And one of those basic things is whether or not you're gonna have children. That should be pretty much number one conversation topic on a date. Do you want to have kids? No. Oh, okay. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna proceed. Okay. Number one, that's the, that's the big problem, right? Number one is how did this conversation not happen? Okay. Now moving forward, knowing that you didn't have this conversation and you are married and you don't want to lose this person, you need to actually consider why it is that you don't want to have kids because his reasons for having kids, which you say, are just that he wants to pass his name down are probably better than your reasons for not wanting to have kids. So number one is you are afraid of passing down your genes. You are a person who has these conditions and it must be hard. I'm not downplaying that, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't exist. So your children deserve to exist as well. Even with those conditions, you are married, you found someone who loves you and you deserve to be here as do your future children. So yes, those conditions, I'm not downplaying how difficult they are at all, but I still believe, as I think most of us should, as all of us should really, <laughs> that those disorders don't make you any less worthy of being alive. So yes, there's a fear of passing down those conditions and I get it, but at the same time, your children also, they deserve to have life. It was kind. You is smart, you is important. Number two is that you are afraid that you can't handle the responsibility even though you think you're a good mother. This is, this is what's so sad about the society we live in is that we have conditioned women to fear motherhood. I sense much fear in you. And women have been doing this 
for thousands of years. Women were born to be mothers. We were born to raise the next generation. You can do this. It's hard. It's scary. And yet you will be able to do it and you will love it. That is one of the things that I think is so sad about the generation we live in is this feeling that it would be more selfless for you not to have kids. And that's just incorrect. It is selfish for you not to. And you saying that you are too afraid or that you, what, what else are you gonna do with your life? It's, it's something that's going to be you focused as opposed to outwardly focused in the best possible way. And it will force you to really work on yourself and make sure that you are the best version of yourself that you can be, which is what being classic is all about, which is what my channel is all about. So you could do this. It's scary, but you could do it. Now, when you say that your husband just has this idea that, oh, he just wants to pass his name down, that's a very modern way of looking at parenthood is like brushing it off that way. And that is not the reason. He may not be able to articulate well why he wants to have children because to him it's so obvious. But having children is more than just, oh, well, I wanna pass my name down. Say my name. It's about raising a beautiful life in God's image. It's about making the world a better place through your children. But your life without children is, is, a, is nothing in comparison to what it will be with children. I think that's really the thing that we have to narrow down here is what would your life be without kids? Like, what would you do? And the fact of the matter is that whatever your answer is, it's not gonna be as good or as important as the answer of what you would do with children. So that is what I think. Those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What would you say to this girl who doesn't know what to do because she doesn't wanna have kids, but her spouse does? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to follow me on social media. It's at Classically Abby absolutely everywhere. And hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Make sure to head over to classicallyabby.substack.com to get access to my podcast, my book club, and all my other great exclusive content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!